All right, so we see here, off to the side, I have some rules for adding and subtracting sign numbers. So the general thing that helps me remember what to do is that when you have the same sign, you add. Okay, so when we're adding, okay, when we're adding a positive with the positive, that's easy. But when we have a negative with the negative, we remember same sign, add. So this first example here, we have a negative plus a negative, right? That falls into the category of same sign. So they're saying here, add negative 16 to negative 13, and then you wanna keep the sign. So we get negative 29. Okay, the second example, that's, pretty straightforward for everyone, positive plus a positive. All right, but that's your another example of same sign. Okay, and obviously you're keeping the sign because they're both positive, you end up with a positive 29. Okay, so that's the first example. All right, second example here is when you have opposite signs, okay? So that's when you have to subtract opposite signs. Subtract. All right, so looking at the third example, we're adding a negative number with a positive number. That's opposite signs. So you subtract. All right, now when you subtract, you're gonna subtract the number that has the biggest impact. So in this case is negative 16. Um, that goes first, and then you subtract from it the number that has the lower impact, 13. Okay. You want to subtract in that order. So it's 16 minus 13 to get 3, and you keep the sign of the number that has the bigger impact and that's negative 16 so like almost like the bigger number okay so this one that's what gave us our sign okay the last example here we have 16, which is positive, plus negative 13, which is negative. Again, you have opposite signs, so you subtract. I'm gonna write the 16 first, the minus 13 second, subtract them, 16 minus 13, I get three, 16 is what tells us what sign to use. So in this case, it's positive 3. 